What's up, After Buzzers? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're finally back after a very, very long hiatus. We missed you so much. We are back with episode 10, Light and Shadows. Every single character had a really hefty storyline. We're gonna break it all down for you, so stay tuned. I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for having us. Oh, I'm so Hi, excited. Guys. We're back for This Is Us after a long, long hiatus. We've been off since Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's long been time. That long. It's been a long time. Granted, I watch a lot of Christmas movies in between, so I, I felt the warmth, but I was ready for my piercings to come back. You're right. I was ready to You were to trying go. to find a tearjerker. I needed a tearjerker. <laughs> All the different other shows <laughs> suffice for the time, but I'm glad my main show is back. We're so glad that you guys are back. I know a lot of you all are in the chat already, so keep commenting in there. Um, we'll be sure to address that. Uh, but my name is Candace Cruz, and obviously the panel looks a little different right now. If, if you didn't notice, um, Danny, Haley, and Paris all flew the coop and left me for the night, but they left me with two gorgeous ladies. Oh, We're the substitutes. <laughs> yes, but the best substitutes ever. Sure. We're joined with Ashley Allen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she is a lovely host. We actually are OGs and did Queen of the Queen South of the together South. a long, long time ago. Yes. And then our favorite fill-in and substitute, Miss Bethany. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. I love it. I love the show so much. I do, yes. too. I do, too. And we picked off where we left off with the storyline of Rebecca. Obviously, we've been on pins and needles for that, which we'll get to. But we want to break it down by character, as we always do, because every single character had a really hefty storyline. So we're going to break it down by Kate and Toby. Then we're going to go to Kevin and Lizzie and possibly other people. Um, if you saw the phone, if you missed that, sorry. Um, Jack and Rebecca, Rebecca, Miguel, and Randall, and then the notorious plot twist at the end. Ooh. So, before we go into that, overall thoughts of the whole show? Um, I thought it was a really good uh, episode to get back into the season. Um, there were a couple moments where I was just like, okay, this is, this is a lot going on. I almost cried at the end, and then mm -hmm. at one point I'm like, okay, Miguel, calm down. Mm -hmm. This is a lot. <laughs> and don't pick on my Randall. Yeah. Oh, I love Randall. I, I mean, know. He's just, but that he, one liner, he's though. He's my favorite. Yeah. Oh. What about you? What's your overall thoughts? Um, I mean, it was a great episode. Aren't they all, though? Yeah, that's very I true. Mean, it very almost true. feels generic to be like, very I true. really like this episode. I did like this episode. Yeah. Um, just, I feel like it was a really disturbing, weird cliffhanger. Just yeah. like an out of nowhere cliffhanger. So, yeah. I don't know. I went from being like, oh, I'm sappy to like, oh, am I scared? What am I? I, I don't know what I, I am I've now. never been scared for This Is Us, but yeah. now I feel like it. It kind of feels like when you're watching like a, ro a rom-com or something really heartfelt. Like yeah. if you're watching The Notebook and then an ad for a horror film comes through and it <laughs> kind of like disrupts your emotions. You're like, what are you doing to me? Okay, let's get back to the regularly scheduled tear-jerking sweet moments, please. That's what I tuned in for. I didn't yeah, ask for Jack for. Ripper. Yeah. I didn't ask for anything else oh, yeah. other than my regular Jack. Yeah. My two Jacks. Yes. <laughs> Which oh. brings us perfectly into Kate and Toby and baby Jack. So, obviously, Kate and Toby have not been the best. Mm -mm. I predicted a while ago that they would get divorced, but so far, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Mm -hmm. Not there yet, but I still feel the, the waters are coming. I agree. Yeah. It's just, once you start seeking attention or validation or bringing other people into your marital mm -hmm. issues or problems... Mm -hmm. That's very dangerous territory to get mm -hmm. in. And once you're in, it's really hard to get out and keep the trust of your mate. So and I, I agree with you. I don't know. And also, they're living, like, drastically different mm -hmm. lifestyles yes. now, which yeah. it's one thing when you're both living one way together and then mm -hmm. someone veers off. And even if it's for the better and it's for a healthier reason. Yeah. There's that resentment yeah. that, that's there. Mm -hmm. So both of you ladies are married. My question is, like, how... How should they deal with this? <laughs> because I feel like when a couple episodes ago, Rebecca, or not Rebecca, I'm sorry, Beth chimed in and said, when you start talking to other people about your marriage, that's when you know it's a red flag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you feel that this should be averted so that we don't end up in crisis mode for Kate and Toby? 
Honestly, I just feel like honesty is what's going to help. Like, no matter how ugly or how hurtful it is, mm-hmm. you have to be honest. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. That's what's going to work. I think they need a moderator, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I just yeah. think it would be helpful if they went to counseling and talked about it. Because even though I'm pretty sure we all think or know, based on what we've seen in the flash forwards, that they might get divorced, mm-hmm. I feel like pretend we don't know that. They're right. still in very salvageable waters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I... I also just want so badly for Kate to be inspired by the good things Toby's doing Mm -hmm. with his life and kind of join that bandwagon instead of kind of resent it. I feel like right now she resents it. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes me sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to work out, buddy. (laughs) Same. Same. I need one. So if anyone needs one, come on. We'll just be workout buddies together. There you go. Yeah. If my husband started doing CrossFit, I'd be like, please make me do that with you. (laughs) I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get hot without me. I need to be hot with you. <laughs> yeah. But I think too, and I I just don't like their communication style at all. Yeah. Uh, from the get go, because I feel that Toby tries so hard, and he has tried so hard that he's gotten to a point, and this is just an opinion. He's gotten to a point where he's like. I know exactly how she's going to react. She's not going to hear me out. I'm just going to avert this problem completely. And that's not the way to go either. But, like, she always gets on the defensive. Mm -hmm. Always. That's what I was going to say is I think, like, obviously, like, we're all humans. We all have something or things that we're insecure about. Mm -hmm. But I think them as individuals have so many insecurities outside of themselves. And then when you put that together, Mm -hmm. like, that's that's bad. You know what I'm saying? And it, it... it can just, it's just not a good mixture, and it's only going to no. last for so long. And it's a lethal mixture, too, that he's having issues about their son that he's not voicing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah. she should be able to understand those and, like, calm him rather than be like, oh, how do you feel about that about our son? Like, just yeah. hear him. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. But it was a really heartwarming moment with little baby Jack. Yes. Yeah, when he touched the light. I love it. I know. It It was so sweet. And I think, like, obviously we see flash forward, we see adult Jack, that he's a fully functioning adult, so Toby Mm -hmm. should not have his worries. But, Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure as a parent you would have, like... Of course. All these little things, and everyone has their own little thing with the baby, but I'm really glad that he's he's getting there. Yes. He's super cute. That would be really hard, just in Toby's defense. It would be really hard to feel like there was this whole whole world that you envisioned yourself introducing your child mm-hmm. to and spending time doing with your child mm-hmm. and watching the, your favorite you know yeah. series whatever it is um that would be really hard i wouldn't not be around because it made right. me too yeah. sad but i i understand that perspective yeah. and i think because kate carried the baby it maybe makes it a little bit more of like the maternal instincts versus right. like the dad doesn't carry the baby, and I know that it's, like, all about connection, and maybe he's just not having that yet. But yeah, yeah. I think that moment he, with the light, will revitalize Toby. I just think Toby's just so into himself right now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, yes, he is. <laughs> I'm not even saying it's good, bad, or indifferent. Like, I know he's doing some really healthy things. Yes. But he's just super up his own butt. Yeah. Like absolutely. he just is. Blinders. Sorry. Yeah. Like, just like, nope, 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 yeah. nope. This is what I want. Um, and, and Kevin's also another one that has blinders on for a different reason. But before we go into that, I want to talk about um, all the things that we have at After Buzz. So, Bethany, you want to take that away? Guys, we just want to take a minute to thank you so much for supporting us here at After Buzz and making us the ESPN of TV talk. Please be sure to give us a five-star rating and thumbs up and interact with us and give us fun comments because it means so much to us and it allows us to keep doing what we're doing and having fun and bringing you fun content. So be our friends online, please. Yes, I've gotten some more friends just from the people that watch This Is Us. So thank you for all your sweet comments in the DMs and like comments in the pictures. So it's great. I love it. But... Kevin. Oh, I Kevin. felt really sorry for him. I felt so My bad heart for him. Breaks. And okay, I get it, Kevin. Before we even get further to this, I have always thought the celebrity what's the term? Hall pass. Hall pass, Hall pass. Yeah. is the most dangerous, messed up. Yes. Yeah. That shouldn't be a thing. Also, if you live in LA. Yeah. You, I'm sorry. It's it might you're all actually just happen. Let's be real. Be yes. That that could be a real thing. Yes. So like let's just not, not yes. I've had that. multiple interactions with 
the guy I used, like, the celebrity I used to have a crush on before I moved to L.A. Oh, you're going to have to tell me off air. <laughs> I need to hear that. So I'm just like, saying, yeah. like, it's not that far-fetched of a concept. Oh, no, not And at by all. the way, celebrities are people, too. Absolutely. And I think this actually has shown a really nice yeah. light on that. Like, yeah. Kevin has feelings. He's looking for someone. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> the, the funny pass. thing is, sometimes when you meet that celebrity that you have a hall pass on, mm-hmm. you might meet them and actually not even like them. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> very true. <laughs> yes. But, I mean... I really, I, listen, I love, um, I love doing the, um, so sorry, the Sophia Bush storyline and Lizzie, but I felt so bad for Kevin because of her. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yes. Like, it was. I, kn- I called her Lizzie the busy. <sighs> yes. But like, why she would you. She hurt my feelings. Why would you do that? Like, he's a person and you pushed it way too far. Wait. The moment he takes you to John Legend and says date. Yeah. Avert, avert, like leave. Yeah. Also, she could have just told, as soon as he asked her out, that should have been like enough life validation for her True. to text her husband and be like, well, I just got asked out by my hall pass, but I'm coming home to you, babe. Right. And like, how weird is it that her husband is literally like pushing her yeah, that's to weird. do it? That's, that's the even weirder part of it. No, that's super weird. Yeah, that's it, real weird. It doesn't make any sense. Which also makes you wonder what their marriage is like. I don't like and, it. It's her I don't husband. like it. What she if, can go. What if she ends up becoming a recurring character because she's really in a bad marriage? And what if her husband's gay? I mean, we don't know what's going on. I mean, granted, it wouldn't be the first time that This Is Us would throw us for a loop, but I also hope that they don't. I hope not. Especially because her character's from Chicago, and I'm from Chicago. We don't we don't roll like that. <laughs> so let's, let's not do that, okay? Don't give Chicago girls a bad Please. name. Please. Thank you. You don't do that. Okay, got it. <laughs> Duly noted. I'll make a note of that. For future reference, when I yes. meet Chicago people, I'll be yes. like, you don't do that. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. No hall passes for you. But, but can we just... I don't like this storyline because I, I... Paris loves this storyline. So Paris, this one's for you. Kevin's phone. Did anybody see the phone at the end? No. <gasps> Neither of you all saw his phone when he gave it to the PAs? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, hello. Yes, yes, sorry. Oh. Hello, Sophie? Yeah. No. I don't want them together. No. I don't either. I'm I don't want, Sophie. I'm over them completely. I've been over them since season two. Yeah. yeah, me too. I want him to have a fresh new love. Yes. New start. Because they're toxic for each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he's toxic for her because mm-hmm. she never got to, like, she was babying him and taking care of him and all this stuff. As you should when you're supporting your spouse or your partner in that type of situation. But at the same time, like, she wasn't understanding at a certain point. Mm-hmm. He needed the understanding. They're just, like, two ships in the night that don't yeah. need each other. They're always in different places. Yes. I think they're just a really classic uh, rendition of a relationship that went on for way too decades long. Yeah. just because they don't know anything else. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you see it all the time. People yeah. that are like, oh, I've been with my college sweetheart or something, but like, oh. they don't actually like each other yeah. and then they got separated and got back together. They're really more like siblings or something. Oh, no. Oh, wow. You know what I mean, though? Oh, no. Like, yeah. they're family yeah. and they yeah. have a respect they grew up together other, but so they like, yeah. actually aren't a great romance it's what's and familiar and over it's it. yeah it's a familiarity right. yeah. thing mm, yeah I really hope that that doesn't happen but I think it does I think it's you that, do think they're I, gonna get back I together? do because here's my thing and I've been holding on to this bit of easter egg bit that we got from one of the writers when the first episode of This Is Us came out mm-hmm. right they said we have already seen who Kevin's baby mama is oh in the first episode, we already know who it is, but we don't know who it is. So I've never heard that. Me so unless it was, um, I'm blanking on her name, our other character that we just left. Yes, the military. Yes. yes. Oh, um, yes. If anyone can pull up on IMDb and figure out her name. But we just, she was in the first episode, so I was like, okay, it could be her or it could be Sophie. It's not Zoe because we see a photo of the child on the refrigerator. Okay. It can't be Zoe. Right. He's blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah, yeah. It, it just, it just, it just, right. So I'm like, okay, so it has to be between the two of them. And then we see Sophia Bush, and I was like, hmm, no, 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 because she wasn't in the first episode. So I'm still holding strong, and I think it's going to be Sophie. I guess yeah, we'll see. it could be. I'd be happy for them. Would you? I, I don't yeah, know if I would be. Yeah, it's not probably... <laughs> I don't know if I would pick them for each other. Right. But... 
I mean, I, I would be happy that he would get the kid that he wants, but mm-hmm. right. But it's not the great love story that he's. I mean, yes, maybe yes. it is. Thank you very much. But it's exactly. not the great love story that he's longing for and that yeah, he's great. wanting. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. and like it goes perfectly into like Jack and Rebecca's love story. And like obviously, it wasn't perfect. No relationship ever is completely perfect. And I think right. we like make it all rainbows and butterflies and sunshine Mm -hmm. whenever you're hearing about your parents or like this great love story from the past. But we obviously like Jack and Rebecca had their struggles. Mm -hmm. So maybe Sophie and Kevin had their struggles for that period of time where he was getting sober and she got engaged to someone else. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. No. Okay. (laughs) They are teasing us with this like, He's looking for a great love story thing. Yeah, happen. absolutely. And for whatever reason, sorry, Sophie, we don't consider you the, the great, great love, love story. story. We just consider you a love girl, story. Girl, don't go away mad, but girl, go away. Like that girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my God. That was great. I like that. <laughs> but Not to go Motley Crue on everyone. Just to <laughs> you know. throw it in there. <laughs> but I also love like going into the Jack and Rebecca storyline. I loved being able to see the little dabble Mm -hmm. of it because we obviously saw his first bout with dad and we don't see him much. So I wonder whether Mm. these are the breaking points of why we don't see him in future storylines, even with the the triplets, the big three. Um, But we finally got to see Jack and Rebecca and like what happened after Mm -hmm. the golf course. How did you guys feel about that? I want to run her father over with my car. <laughs> like, I loathe her father. Take it, take the floor. How do you feel? <laughs> Tell us how you, how do you really, really feel. feel. <laughs> um, it honestly, it made me love their love story even more. Like, yeah. I'm so in love with them as a couple and him as a man and how he just looks at her. Mm-hmm. But this made me, I would guess, like I said, just solidify even more so how she feels about him. Yeah. Which. I love because you can very easily be put in a situation where your family is like, this isn't the right per- person or they can't give you that, but you have to follow your heart. Yeah. And so to see that like happen, it just, yeah. it just made me like a warm and yes. fuzzy. Inside. And I kind of liked that she told them she loved them first. Did yes. you guys like yes. that? I did. Yes. Because listen, we're always taught to like girls do this, guys yes. do that. Mm-hmm. And then when it mixes up and it works, cause it has to work. Then I'm like, oh, I love yeah. it so much. Yes. And I like seeing a softer side of her mom in this episode, yeah, too. Yeah, because we don't see a lot of that. Yeah. I mean, she's been pretty demonized so far. Yeah. yeah. But it was cool for her to be like, for starters, I know you think your father and I are in love, aren't in love, no. but this is this. Yeah. This is love, too. Yeah. But then I did like this. She's, yeah. She ultimately was like, this is scary for us, but you have to do what you have to do. And I loved that and line. And make it worth it. Oh, yeah. Yes. What'd she say? Make it worth it. She said... Make it one for one, the for the books or one, one for the, like the, the books. What'd she say? Or one for make the, it one for the ages or something. ages or something yeah. like that. Yeah, a romantic love story. Yeah, for the ages. I wrote it down. What yeah, one for say? the ages. I was just gonna say like if there's one lesson that was taken from today, ladies, go get your man. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about what other people are saying. That. If that is your one, go get him. Don't be afraid. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's it's okay to take that step forward. So yeah, go do it. But don't feast on crumbs either. But yeah, go get your man. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. Yes. yes. Find that, that happy great advice, But also, be make smart. Sure, make sure he's yeah. getting Make you sure back. he's a jack. <laughs> if he's yes. not yes. a jack, if he's a jack, don't get him. Yes. What she meant to say is go get your jack. Go get your jack. Yes. Go, go get find your jack. Your jack. There we go. <laughs> and I love that she walked up and she's like, I talk, you listen. And I yes. was like, oh. I know. But she, Mandy Moore's still so sweet. I know. And Rebecca is still so sweet. Yeah. That I was like, her like, I talk, you listen, wasn't even like, I talk, you listen. No. It was more like, I talk, you listen. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're going you're gonna to listen to me because I'm so cute. I yeah. do like when she gets firm. I know, <laughs> I do too. But I also, I don't know if you guys felt this. Obviously, we know how this story ends up. But during the whole point where he's like, we need to br- take a break, I was like, no, I hope they get back together. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> Are they going to end up together? And I was like, Candace, you know that they're going to end up I together. Know. So they like, up these kids? I know. How are they going to do this? <laughs> Like, are they, is she going to fall in love with someone else? Like, what's going to happen? So kudos to the storyline yes. that I actually felt worried Same. about their relationship. Yeah. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> but we we obviously had another love story, the last love story um, of the bunch um, with Rebecca and Miguel. Mm-hmm. And then throw in Randall. That's a love story in and of itself. A love story for your yeah. family and for your mother. Mm-hmm. Um, 
this is the one that hits home for me that like takes it down a notch. Mm-hmm. Um, because we obviously know where Rebecca stands at the end of this all. Um, but also in predictions, I have some other ideas about how we get to that point from what we've gotten now. But how terrifying is it to be in that situation? Like to know what's inevitable, yeah. to know what's coming. There's no way to stop it and to like hold on to everything so tight that you know you're about to lose. And then same with like the family members that just want to take care of her but don't know mm-hmm. how. Yeah. Um, I'm waiting for her to start calling Miguel Jack. Oh. oh. Are you guys waiting for that? Well, I didn't think about it, but yeah. Well. I, I was like when she stared and, in the mirror. And yeah. we don't know if she has dementia or Alzheimer's. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. Her diagnosis. I mean, they're very similar. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of times they go back to younger years. Mm-hmm. So obviously she was an adult with Jack. So we might see her visiting childhood memories yeah. more. Like sometimes they tell stories that they would not have mm-hmm. even remembered in their middle age years. Yeah. And they revisit this, these childhood. These mm-hmm. Yeah. These archived childhood memories that have been seemingly extinct. You that know? adds more to my. Uh, Okay, sorry, continue. <laughs> I hope for Miguel's pride that that does not happen, mm-hmm. but I didn't even I think about that. That's, that's really good. <laughs> well, I think Jack, no offense to Miguel, but is the love of her life. Of yeah. And that's who she built her life with. Miguel's a mm-hmm. second act story, mm-hmm. you know. And I think, too, I think he a knows that. Story. Yeah, I think he knows that deep down. Yeah. And I think he's always known yeah. that, especially because he was there when she lost Jack and right. like got her through the grieving process. So he knows how big that is. But when she was staring in the mirror and the juxtaposition of like the flashback mm-hmm. of the the kiss and telling them they love each other for the first time and then staring in the mirror and there's like the one tear, yeah. I could totally and the term, see. A love for the ages. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Good job, writers. <laughs> I don't want to cry on air I know, coming I know. back. That was heavy. I can't. Up. I just can't. You know what I was thinking while I was watching it, though, is I wonder if they have pictures of Jack displayed in their home. It was his best friend. I wonder. That's a good question. Like, how would you feel but to like, be like, I've got the ghost of your ex-husband, but he's also the ghost of my best friend, yeah. and we're together. Yeah. yeah I don't and think you're that's all idea. over my house. Well, you wouldn't, as from Miguel's perspective... You wouldn't want to see pictures of Rebecca and Jack together. Right, right. That also, might be weird. Probably but lost they're just a lot. pictures of the family and Jack. I lost a lot in the fire, though. That's true. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Key. Oh. <laughs> that fire. We're just both shook about that. Mm. No, no. No, no, no. Mm. Well, I don't know. The interesting conversation that I, I got a little frustrated with was with Randall and Miguel. Right. I... Miguel was just being really defensive. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think, one, just trying to prove that he could take care of Rebecca. Mm-hmm. Two, that Randall doesn't always have to be the one to save the day. Mm-hmm. But in all honesty, and I, I get where Miguel is coming from that, you know, that he thought is from old age or whatnot. But at the end of the day, like, you, if you see something, you have to say something. Mm-hmm. And I get him kind of just putting, trying to put Randall in his place. But we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him at the right. same time. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I it, I saw both sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because this is just a, one of these situations where, like, everybody's right and everybody's wrong, mm-hmm. and there's no mm-hmm. way around it. It's sticky. It's uncomfortable. It's life. It's terrifying. Do you terrifying. feel like Randall's wrong? Um, I think in, in a way of, like, the way he gets defensive against Miguel, and then I think in a way Miguel is because of the way he reacted towards Randall. I think... It came from all good intentions, but I think sometimes when you come from good intentions, they can always be misconstrued, Mm -hmm. case in point with Miguel, and also the flash forward where he's not talking to Kevin or to Kate. So something's about to conspire because Randall's such a headstrong person Mm -hmm. that he doesn't, I don't think he really hears other people sometimes. He's like, this is right, this is my mom, I'm going to take care of her, rather than coming from a place of like compassion in that moment. Yeah. To me, uh, what I think is wrong in this scenario is that Kate and Kevin don't know. Yeah, that's the, that's the that thing too. about it that's weird. It's not weird to me that Randall insisted that this appointment happened. Mm-hmm. To me, I'm like, that's a good family member. Yeah. Whether it's your husband, your kid, your this right. or that. I mean, 
to me, like, someone yeah. needs yeah. to make an appointment. Yeah. I agree. And even though she told him not to tell, I'm going to tell my brothers and sisters. Yeah. I'm yes, sorry. Totally. Yeah. The yeah. moment you keep it quiet oh is gosh. when things implode. Yeah. Totally. I might swear them to secrecy, but I'm still going yeah. to tell them. Mm-hmm. And I kind of don't believe in that. I don't but. believe in families that are, like, have important information mm. but they don't share it with everyone because well that person's going through this right now and I don't want to bother them so, so don't tell them I'm like no dude family uh, you have to put it on more the table ma- yeah. yeah like this is what life is like and yeah, I think I would be more her. mad if you kept it from me yes absolutely like sure. I, I don't I, I get you're trying to protect me but like don't, don't. Like, yeah uh, let me handle my own feelings you can't tell me how my feelings right. are going to be so yes. like back to the whole thing about Miguel I think yeah. that incident we saw with Miguel and Randall was kind of a coming of ahead of just I think how Miguel feels in general mm-hmm. you know if she was married to Jack no one would be going over his head mm-hmm. do you know what I mean mm-hmm. I think Miguel feels like nobody takes me seriously mm-hmm. I'm not the strong one I'm mm-hmm. not the head of the household I'm not the anything I'm like the filler I'm the yeah. guy oh. that stepped in after Jack passed away Damn. and everyone bulldozes me and my opinion doesn't count they don't think I'm competent competent of taking care of her so I, I did feel bad for him I but at too. the same time I was like yeah but make an appointment yeah like if you want to be the guy then be the guy yeah yeah I, have I mean, a question I might call a spatula a food flipper. I don't know. Like, that's not <laughs> the biggest deal in the world to me. <laughs> Do you guys think that a little bit of Miguel's hesitancy to make an appointment or to even say anything to Randall before Randall noticed it could have been from him also being scared of, like, for himself? Like, like them getting what that's, o- yeah, yeah, what it could mean for him or yeah. their life You together. mean as a caretaker? Or you even mean just like even just him and his, that his own yeah, yeah. just age. I think that, and also I think so much like if this is your person, like you, you want to take care of them, but you also don't want to hear the news that you know you're going to hear. So yeah. like if you can avoid it, like let's avoid it at all costs at the yeah. same time. But I don't know. Stepping into that caretaking role season. Mm. It's frightening yeah, for absolutely. everyone. It just totally changes the dynamic of because it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like it's just the way that it is. It happens. It's you a know? bizarre phenomenon that you're raised. You know, you come together with this like respect and looking at each other. Yeah. You look up to each other, mm-hmm. right? And then eventually, someone's the baby. Yeah. Mm. And then you're the caretaker. It's just a weird dynamic. Yeah. yeah. And same, kind with, of the same thing with parents. Too. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. With parents right? and like when you in, in, inadvertently the roles reverse, yes, which is what's happening reverse. with exactly. Randall and Rebecca. And I think, I mean, I could go on for days about the whole Rebecca Miguel scenario, but we have to move on before we get to all of our predictions. But the plot twist, y'all. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to make my own music. I'm just going to delete it. I'm like, You're going to delete it? <laughs> yes! The music. I'm like, I can't process this. No! It's too much. We, I'm not going to sit here for a week stressed out about what Randall does in the kitchen with the, like, seemingly crackhead. But what I will say is, thank God oh, he came home. If right. he was 10 minutes later, those girls would all have been in the house alone. I mean... I, no. But what's going to happen? And, like, what do you do? Follow him in the house? Like, stop I'm assuming home. that he was already in the house. Oh, my God. And maybe he was hiding. Oh and then gosh, when he came no, downstairs. No, I can't go home now. <laughs> no, it's I can't do it. No, it's too stressful. I don't like these shows for a reason. Yeah. This is us. I think he was no. already there. I don't like it. I don't like it. But who do you think he is? A random crackhead? I think he probably got or wronged by Randall of some sort with some type of ruling that he made and he didn't realize I think so it. Too. I think mm-hmm. it probably was something that, like, inadvertently affected him that Randall would never know it affected him and he got pissed and he yeah. found him and he was like I'm coming for you I'm so glad Randall works out <laughs> <laughs> you're like at least you're fit for this whatever's gonna go down I'm you're scared just, oh. that yeah. guy's hand was shaking when he was holding that knife yeah. like this mm. also that means you can knock the knife out if he's that nervous mm-hmm. wow. but also I love the last line where he was like you can't go through me yes. or the last you won't get past me you won't get past me yeah. Oh, can't get it. Well, before we go into our um, predictions, we don't really have news and gossip other than the fact that we're back. Um, that's about it. So we're going to go into our tearjerker moments. <laughs> it's a lot. 
I'm just gonna make the noise and like the face for this. So for all of you guys that are joining us for the first time, and Ashley for joining us for the first time, yes. our tearjerker moment is ranked from one to five. I'm gonna talk like a soap opera now. <laughs> one to five. One being oh, and then five being sobbing out your mind. So you're gonna pull out however many tissues and you'll tell us what your moment is. Okay. Okay. Would you like to go first? Sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> The music is perfect. I love it. Four. Four! Four. That's a strong one. So, I literally just teared up. I don't know if it's because, um, I don't know. But <laughs> uh, when Rebecca came to the garage and told mm -hmm. him that she loved him and that she was not giving up on him, it just really set my heart mm -hmm. on fire because I could, I could feel it. I could see myself doing something like yeah. that. And mm -hmm. just when you really find that person, like, it's just, there's there's no other feeling like it. And it just it made me tingly inside. Yeah. I'm such a romantic. I love it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> everything makes me cry right now. After I turned 30, like, I cry about everything. <laughs> so. Yes. Awesome. I mean, that's been going on for me for I'm years. So I'm like, <laughs> I was like an emotional teenager that I turned 30, and I was like, stop the crying. <laughs> I'm done. Life is happening. <laughs> Put on your big girl panties. <laughs> Dry it up. Okay, I'm gonna take four tissues. Yes. Wow, it's a four night. I know. Oh. Um, over Rebecca tearing up when she remembered the oh, um, both of y'all. Yeah. The. The, if you're going to choose this dark, complicated character, whatever mm -hmm. she called him, make sure it's a great love story, one for the ages. And then when she looked in the mirror and she's like aging and she's remembering and reflecting in the tear, like, that got me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I still got it, even though I'm over 30. <laughs> one, two, three, four. We'll go with four. Yes. I, <laughs> you both took mine. So my other one, I think... I mean, listen, Kate, Toby, Kevin, all of you, I'm sorry, but I think it goes to, like, Rebecca, Jack, Miguel, the whole scenario, the whole storyline. But I think my biggest one was when they were sitting in the doctor's office. I could feel, like, when you're going to get that news and you're just denying it, like, it was one of those where I could just touch it and yeah. I could feel it and... Um, obviously we know what's going to happen so it was just one of those where I was like no this is the moment that like we've been waiting for so that was my, my tearjerker other than these two stealing mine so it's fine <laughs> it's fine we got them all out uh, Rebecca you made us cry all yes, night yes always <laughs> but we have just a couple more minutes ladies okay so make these predictions your good. after buzz TV make predictions um, <laughs> do you want to go no, no. No. Okay, so, I put the pressure on. I have the same prediction that I had at the end of last week. Okay. Which is kind of a flash forward when we see them congregating at, I guess, Kevin's house? Yeah. Are you taking mine again? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I go. Not. Go, go, go. I hope not. <laughs> um, and he says, no, Mom, Randall and I aren't talking. I personally think that Randall keeping this secret is what causes a rift mm -hmm. and that um, Kevin and Kate like actually cut him out for a bit. It would have to be quite a bit though because we're seeing Kevin quite some time down the road. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's, well, it has to be soon because it says like a year or two later yeah. and his wife is already pregnant within like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he, he finds her very quickly. Um, mine is... Which um, means it could be Sophie. It's probably so. <laughs> That's not my prediction, though. My prediction is kind of what you were going off of with, like, the Miguel thing of, like, what happens to Miguel between this meeting and the last moment where we see her laying in the bed? Because he's nowhere to be found. Right. Did he die? Yeah. Because they are all significantly older. They've mm -hmm. aged a lot. So did he die? Um, did they have something that happened and he just couldn't face it at a certain point whenever she loses it completely? Mm -hmm. Is she reverting back to childhood and that's why she looks at Nikki because he's like familiar through the Jack storyline? What is it? Because he's not there. Yeah. So that's my interesting thing and I just feel for him because I can't imagine what that feeling is like when the person that you love forgets who you are. Mm -hmm. 
or mistakes you for someone else. Yeah, and yeah. you're always the runner-up. And you're always the runner-up. And obviously, I think Kate and Toby get divorced. Kevin's going to end up with Sophie, blah 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 There you go. <laughs> yeah. And there you have it. Yeah. Um, I, both of you pretty much just said what I was <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I think Toby and uh, Kate are going to get divorced. Uh, I'm not... Oh. So I'm sad. not really sure what Miguel's story is. I would I would hate for him to have died and she lost two husbands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I don't I don't know what I feel about it that sounds situation like yet. Near the end, she's so out of it. She she's doesn't gone. know who anyone is. No. is. Oh, I, I know. Think of it. I can't know. Well, on that happy, happy note, obviously we know next week is going to be insane because we're all facing our worst fears as the the preview gave us. And we've got a man in the house coming after Randall and family. So you guys, let us know what your predictions are in the comments below. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all the things. Thank you so much for joining us again. Welcome back. And ladies, where can everybody find you? You can find me on Instagram at Bethany Jean Official. That's Bethany with an IE. Come find me. And you can find me, Ashley Allen, on all social media at Ashley Reed Allen. And I'm Candace Cruz, and you can find me on all my social media at Candace R. Cruz. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.